I'm Tom Spears from Post Media, and I'm here on the south end of Ottawa beside a country road to talk about a couple of very common plants that people sometimes mix up. One of them can hurt you, the other one won't. But they look a little bit alike, especially if you only look at pictures on the internet. One of them is called Queen Anne's Lace, which I'm going to get to in a moment, and the other one right here beside me is Wild Parsnip. Wild Parsnip is not very easy to confuse with Queen Anne's Lace because it's yellow, and this stuff is taller than I am. But if you're just looking at pictures on the internet, you can't get a, a really good idea of the size. You just see two flowers that are kind of the same shape. In real life, however, one's big, one's little. Wild parsnip is the one that can present some real danger in a medical sense. Most people seem to manage to live and let live with it, but you don't want to get the sap on your skin, and you particularly don't want to sit around in the sun afterwards. What happens is, the sap makes your skin more sensitive to the UV light in the sun, the stuff that causes sunburn. You actually burn very quickly if you got this stuff on your skin and then sit around in the sunshine. Now the fancy name for this is phytophotodermatitis. Phyto as in it's connected with plants, photo, sunlight, dermatitis, skin problem. The odd thing is it can come from other plants, not just these wild parsnip. It can come from lime juice. The same effect, you splash it on your skin, maybe you're sitting outside, they call it Mexican beer dermatitis because you've got a corona and lime or maybe margaritas, you get lime juice, you sit too long in the sunshine, you get painful blistering. Ontario has one other invasive plant that can burn your skin, it's called giant hogweed. It stands four to five meters tall, but it's pretty rare, I've never actually seen one. For my money, the nastiest plant in our natural garden is still poison ivy.